three double nuts, Panda. One point two. Clear, Dak. Patrick Michael Williamson, interview, take one. Commander Williamson, there's a small but growing concern in Congress that uh, we might be getting in over our heads in Southeast Asia. How does this strike you? Well, I think we ought to be here. South Vietnamese want to establish a country with values similar to our own. I think we ought to help. And what values are those? Freedom, right to think for yourself, to follow your own faith. You know, individual freedom. Is that why you're here? Well, I think I've told you why I'm here. But if you want the official reason, you'll have to ask the civilian authorities. They lawfully ordered me here. And on that level, I'm serving my country. I'm here to serve my government. On the eject? No. I hit the tree on the way down. It'll be all right. Ah. The ah. medevac will be here. Out of here, Pat. But I gotta get out in the open. I gotta make visual contact. Broken leg. On the leg. On the leg. The leg. Get him off me. Get him off me. Broken leg. Nathan B. Nathan.
legacy of colonialism. Nos ancêtres sont des Gaulois. Replacement parts from France are very difficult to obtain, to say nothing of the expense. That you stand when I enter is good. It's proper. Shows correctness of attitude. Welcome to Hanoi and Wallo Prison. I am Major No Doc. And you are? 221077, Lieutenant Commander Williamson, Patrick Michael, 16th October 1930. And where was your aircraft destroyed? 221077, Lieutenant Commander Williamson, Patrick Michael. <laughs> yes, 16th. yes, all well and good, Commander. You are no doubt trying to hide behind the Geneva Convention, n'est-ce pas? Well, Commander. When the United States declare war upon my country, then we will fulfill our international commitments. But for the moment, there is no declaration of war. And since you cannot be a prisoner of war, you are a criminal. I suggest you should ask for a pardon. President Ho Chi Minh is a great man. He will personally protect you while you are here in Walu Prison. 221077, Lieutenant Commander Williamson, Patrick Michael, 16th October 1930. Our war with the French lasted for a decade. You might be here for several years. Think carefully, Commander. Now, where was your aircraft shot down? Two one zero oh, seven seven one, Lieutenant Commander Patrick Michael Williamson, sixteenth October nineteen thirty, recently pictured in Life magazine. Married to Sheila Powers, June fifteenth nineteen fifty four, two sons, age seven and nine. Home is Philadelphia. No point continuing, eh, Commander? <laughs> so! Let us try again. Are you married? Look, I know what you're trying to do. If I start telling you this, I'll be on board your program. Are you married, Commander? No. Say, Fini? two or three years before I give you another chance to cooperate. To show correctness of attitude. Komji, manera. Sidobe, Komji, manera.
we can handle this. Won't be more than a couple of months. We can handle this. Đồng chí đưa em cái búa đi đồng chí. Đồng chí 
Well, Commander, how have you been these past few months? Surviving. <laughs> yes, indeed, you have. And I think you should deserve some reward for that. Uh, some of your compatriots may be joining us. Perhaps we should allow you some contact. Move you around from time to time. In spite of my threat to leave you in isolation for three years, I offer some change after merely one. You can therefore see I am a very lenient man. Lenient hell. I just outlasted you. Suite of the Hanover Hilton. Williamson, Lieutenant Commander, off the Hancock. Yeah, well, the Hancock. How long have you been? A year, I think. The other on the cell block. Hi, I'm Paul Kennedy, Lieutenant JG, off the Enterprise. The Earl Hutman Captain, Air Force. Bill Oldman, Marine Major. I get up, but the leg's gone. Busted in two places. Believe it or not, I've, I've been here the longest six months over in the annex. Well, that is besides you. Four for me, and the cripple here is the new boy. Three weeks. A year's a long time. Who else have you seen? No one. I saw a message on the bathhouse wall. Signed, a Navy driver. That message, and, and that's all. So it's been... A, it's been a very long time. I began to think that I wouldn't see anyone, and so... Seeing you guys is... What's your name again? Paul Kennedy, sir. Paul Kennedy. Oh. Here. Captain Hubbard. How are you? Bill. Bill. How are you, Bill? Welcome, sir. <laughs> Welcome. How long are you in, Bill? Uh, 21 years in the Corps. 21 years, Semper Fi. Right. Where are you from? Philly? You? St. Louis. Oakland. So tell me about what's going on at home. What have I been missing? I'll tell you, Williamson. For openers, I got this 16-year-old daughter. Brings home this kid, a boyfriend. Okay, now this kid has got hair almost across his ears. So my wife asks him in a, in a decent, courteous way. She says, don't you find your hair a little feminine? The little son of a bitch looks at her straight in the eye and says, compared to you, maybe. So I killed him. <laughs> don't believe him. Something wrong, Commander? Maybe. I mean, I, I, I don't know who you guys really are. Why you're allowed company. It's okay, sir. Relax. And there's no conspiracy here. Look. Our war's over. Once we're in, we're in here, we're as good as discharged. As far as being together, look, how old was hurt. That's why I'm in here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm here as an afterthought. Until three weeks ago, I was in a jungle camp. I'm not supposed to be a fighting man anymore. I did my war in Korea. I'm a recall. Right about now, I should be taking a 503 from Grand Central to Scarsdale.
Now, I'm gonna need an 8 o'clock wake-up call. You bow! You bow. You bow! I'll never bow to you, you lousy son of a... Never! A voice too deep to be a bee. Must be a flyer. Flyer! Hey, driver! Come on! No, do! No, do! You quiet! Hey, don't put him back in solitary! Fuck you! Well, whoever just told me to go screw myself, it sure better outrank me. Uh, who's, who said that? I'm Cathcart! Cameron Cathcart! Air Force! Colonel! Full Colonel! Where are you? Uh, uh sir. W where are you, sir? Keep talking! I'm Miles, Captain <laughs> Air Force. Captain! Huh? Well, you just keep talking! Yes, sir. Uh, a little discipline around here would be good, sir. I know I could use some structure. Uh, I, I'm alone. That's enough. Captain? I found it. <laughs> it's a hole back of that pipe. About nine o'clock. Get up on your bunk. I'm sorry, sir, I can't. I'm in stocks. Oh. I got contact with a man on the other side. He says he just got himself 60 days in irons for trying to contact you. Tell him congratulations on joining the Ankle Biters Club, sir. And, sir, would you do me a favor? Um, ask him how he uh, works the bucket in the stocks. I'll find out. In the meantime, hear this and pass it on. The code of conduct will apply to all American servicemen in here. Nobody handed you a discharge when you got captured. We will keep the faith in God, in country, and in one another. We will honor military ranks and obey the senior ranking officer at all times. For the time being, until I hear different, I am that SRO. My orders are simple. Firstly, save everything. Collect every piece of scrap you can find. It'll all come in handy. Secondly, stay in contact at all times. You must contact every arrival. You must memorize every name. We will manipulate the enemy, but we will not antagonize him needlessly. You catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. No matter what they do to us, we are Americans. If we help and support one another, we will prevail. Thanks, I'm growing a beard. Beat it! Or maybe just a trim. No. You no good. You tough guy. You go away.
Hey, Einstein. What are you doing? Gassing up the Gook H bomb? Great disguise. No, really, you had me fooled. I like it. You got here just in time, sir. We needed an SRO. Carry on, Commander. I'm duty. Buddy. All clear. Report out. Kennedy, cell eight, A OK. Sir. Williamson, cell six, first class shape. Sir. Me and all of them in cell seven, OK, sir. We're fantastic over here. Never better. Ashby in cell five. Coming along fine, sir. Uh, Axby, how's the arm, son? Can you use it? Uh, it's getting there, sir. <laughs> uh, before we get down to business, now two things to remember. Firstly, you must resist any attempt to make you act contrite. Repeat, do not act contrite. Secondly, Williamson, you keep working on that transom with that nail you found. You hear? All right, carry on, gentlemen. OK, Ashby. This time I want a straight answer. Understand? Yes, sir. All right. Now explain. If Rod Steiger was on the czarist side, why would he want to help Omar Sharif? Oh, because he really wants Julie Christie's bones. Because she was in love <laughs> with Tom Courtney, right? Uh, no, sir. Uh, Courtney was on the train, was all. I think he was meant to be Trotsky. Hey, forget that. Colonel Cathcart, what did you mean that Johnson's ordered a bombing pause? Did the V respond? Will they talk? You know, in Korea, they talked for three years before the POWs came home. Three years! How about you're a delight? Living with a happy, upbeat guy like you is a real delight. You know something, if this was World War II, I'd escape. I'd get away from you and the gooks. Colonel, could it really be that long? Actually, we, we don't have to tell you that this is not Korea. We're not gonna be here forever. Bombing paws are not our people. They know we're here. They'll never let us down. I know, sir. It's, uh... Just a little lonely is all, sir. I'm not used to being alone like this. Big family, college fraternity, the Air Force, I... I hate being alone. You can always, uh, pray, son. Then you're never alone. Find yourself for a mirror. Just a mirror. Oh, his name is Colonel Cathcart. He's the leader of the group. So gather round, all oh, you yanks. We'll give you all the poop. He took the shit. He gave them lift. The commandant was pissed. They clapped him in a stinking hole. They thought he'd not be missed. Come on. Come on. Hey, hey. We don't take his sister to lunch. Try to sing it. Jesus. Everybody's a critic around here. Colonel Cameron Cascart, United States Air Force. Hmm, twice decorated Korean ace. 20 kills. Twenty kills. You like flying, eh? You like the war. Perhaps I should read a little bit more. I've seen it. 
It has no relevance here. But this is a highly respected publication. Innocent enough, I suppose. But here in Wallow Prison, it is your indictment. I have no need to keep you alive. You have not been confirmed as a prisoner. <laughs> Only last Sunday, the New York Times listed you as an MIA. The other men know I'm here. Who knows what they will remember in 10 or 15 years? We had Frenchmen here for longer than that. So, American Colonel. I am fully aware that you are attempting to maintain American ranks and military discipline here. You will stop immediately. Cathcart, things might get much worse. The ranks do exist. Huh. We are American servicemen. I'm an American colonel. There are those in my government who dislike educated men, such as myself, who were schooled by the Jesuits. They consider me uh, ideologically unsound, too prone to compassion for people like you. They must see that I have helped you to cooperate, to put your white man's arrogance aside. Stop these silly army games. I will consider it an act of contrition. The ranks do exist. We are American servicemen. I am an American colonel. No, Cathcart. American criminals. Yes, criminals. You wish to maintain discipline here? You wish to challenge me? Good. Acceptable. I will pick at random one of your men, and I will exert on him the same physical pain you and your country inflict on my people with your war. Yes, Cathcart. You will only have yourself to blame for his pain and his anguish. I want you to think about that. What was that? Geez, what I wouldn't give for that suit, though. <laughs> Welcome to the pigsty. Pigsty population doubles. Young kid, Air Force flight suit, Lieutenant Bars. Welcome, Lieutenant X. Good luck. You're gonna need it. You might as well be dead as here.
Gregory, Lieutenant USAF, sir. Who right now wishes he'd gone to law school. God bless you, son. God bless you. I am told you still insist that you have some uh, special status here. So speak. Speak for him. No! Will you not speak? to save him. It is time for you to experience another part of our prison system. But not until you yourself have visited room 18. And then you will disappear. Maybe three or four years. There's no way I'm gonna let you die. Stay awake! All right. SRO Williamson wants to know what you did that antagonized him the most. Nothing. Negative. Awake on me. He wants to know what you, what you said. After room 18, whatever they wanted. What's your name, soldier? Uh, What's your name, flyer? Gregory, first lieutenant. Air Force! I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Now listen to me. Listen to me. Now this is an SRO order. And I can never let them think that you can be beaten into anything. You lie to them, mislead to them, anything. But you never let them break you. You got that? None of you guys broke. I know I got involved. You didn't Take break. Us. None of the rest of those guys broke. No. no. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. I'm so sorry. 
I'm so very sorry. <laughs> I, I couldn't. I didn't. Oh, I am a short termer. I'm not like you guys, but I love home. <laughs> I want to go home. Dude. Please! You got to Thank you! Shut up, Gregory! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. I don't! Get down there! He's hurt! Can't you see this man? He's hurt! Looking for a fight. It stinks. He stinks. They've just never been brutal like that. Who cares about them? The man broke. He told the V what they wanted. Fisher! Fisher! You! Go! Cathcart, Colonel Cathcart, Air Force. What happened? They broke me. The others, the boys, they won't be able to help it either. Tell them, take care of them. Yeah? They shall. Your turn will come. Hey, new boy, cell three. Work the transom. I loosened that one myself. Work the motor chips in the corner. It'll slip out. Hi. Welcome to the Hanoi Hilton. Pretty nice, huh? The food here is pretty lousy, but it's all room service, so it's a... Uh... I suggest the continental cuisine. This visual intercom is courtesy of the SRO, the rest of us chippers. It's our version of escape. I'm Williamson. I was a lieutenant commander, but Oliviera here, who just joined us, has said I got boosted a rank day the V got me. Yeah, it's true, man. Really? That means I'm senior ranking officer, unless you outrank me. What about Colonel Cathcart? You saw him? You saw the Colonel? Where? Are there no guards here? It's siesta. Three whacks of the gong, pause, then one. You live by the gong here. It tells you what to do and when to do it. These two empty? The one on my left has a youngster who talked, and he's been in solitary ever since. Now, how about you? Who are you? All right. Name's Fisher, Major, 82nd Airborne, now attached to the Pentagon. How did you get here? I was here for one helicopter trip. It malfunctioned. We crash-landed north of the DMZ. Tell us about Cathcart. As far as Cathcart's concerned, let me say that I saw what was left of him. What do you mean, what's left? How was he? How, 
How were his arms? Swollen. Very swollen. Blue. With rope burns. Gregory! 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 Look, Major, I've been in here almost two years. The punishment has been brutal, but it's never been life-threatening. Until Gregory? He must have brought it on himself. He must have. He's just a kid. It doesn't... Doesn't what? Make sense. Get out of here. Never. Yes, we will. We stick together. We follow orders. Who cares what happens in here? Why should I take orders from somebody because they used to outrank me? Yes, it does outrank you. I have used cluster bombs. I have used napalm. I am ashamed of myself and of America and of Americans. I plead forgiveness. I beg President Ho to forgive my crimes. SRO order. I trust that the freedom loving socialists, if taken, will forgive me. Resist as long as possible. Then do. The best you can. We are all together. God bless us all. I was a colonel in the criminal army. Yeah, I hope he does. I hope he does. We can bet Lyndon Johnson won't. Shut your son of a bitch mouth. My cruelty to the Vietnamese people. As a senior officer, I personally order it the execution of hundreds of innocent Vietnamese women. This is a psalm, I think. I, I don't know which one. I, I, was taught to hate I shall lift up mine eyes was not willing to follow unto the hills the from whence cometh my strength. My strength cometh from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. I thank Senator Fulbright for demanding the bombing pause. I don't know the rest. I pray for the victory of Vietnam. I am glad to again to be a civilian. I Kiss my rosy red American ass! I am God damn it! The of the compassionate Vietnamese captors. And now, good night with a reminder that despite your crime is Ho Chi Minh, the president, Loves you. Well, there's one guy that does not rank me anymore. <sighs> I am also very tired, Williamson. It is late. I can't do it. I ask so very little. A lonely lie? What good is a biography full of lies? Williamson, you are an intelligent man. You're a family man like myself. Why will you not do what I ask? My name is Patrick Michael Williams. I'm from Philadelphia. 
I was a professional athlete, a university professor, and a part-time bank president. Đồng chí, nhanh lên! Đúng lên, đồng chí! that we've got to stick together, you and me, and, and everyone who broke, we got to hang in, we got to survive, because we got to see home, we've got to see home. Vietnamese people is in whose hands lie your fate uh, have no wish to keep you here. Glad to hear that. Delighted to hear that. However, our indulgence is not without limits. There must be an entente. You mean, uh, like a bargain? Precisely. I'm sorry, but I, I can't do that. Now, I have no wish to antagonize you, but I can't. Hartman, you have no idea what we want to ask of you yet. Now, Major Nipier is a pilot. He understands your language. Come. Sit, Hartman. Now. We know you were in an A6 aircraft, and we know this aircraft has two men, a pilot in front, and there is a backseat man. And we have deduced that the backseat man controls the radar. Now, Hoffman, all we need to know is, how does the radar pick targets? You know, I can't answer. I'm sorry. You must never gesture like that. It is impolite to show the palms of your hands. Now remember that. Such arrogance does not speak well of your sorrow. Now, about the radar. Oh, the uh, A6 radar. Well, uh, you know, that's uh, exactly the same as the B-17, you know, the old uh, bomber from World War II, the Flying Fortress, they call it. It's exactly the same. Does he know that system? Nu me bai. Be mui bai. Yeng hi kwa toyong. Major Niep, he say your statement confirms the assessment of our intelligence. <laughs> hey, that's a smart bunch of guys. Dong Ji, come in. Hubman, this is a small beginning. You are closer to your home now than ever before. Thank you, Ben, Bob. I think it's tough. 
been praying for a bonus like this. It was first American I've touched in 19 months. So lonely, I gotta get out of here. I got it, Pat. I don't care if it's in a fucking box. Oh, shit. You've got to survive. We didn't spend two years getting every captive name to you for nothing. You're the recording secretary of this operation. My old man, you know, he was always preaching that hang, hang tough sermon. These heroes were the Grenadier Guards. Whole regiment. You see, when the Germans had the British pinned down on the beaches at Dunkirk, it was a madhouse. You know? So when the Grenadier Guards arrived, they lined up in parade order, banned and everything. The German planes were strafing the beach. The truth, the color. Diving planes killing men. Men dying at attention. And the only order they heard was close ranks. Close ranks. They swallowed their fear. I led the whole British army to live to fight another day. He's a tough son of a bitch, my old man. We're always with you, Bob. Every man here. We say your name. God bless you. You greet everyone like this? Nah. Where are you from? New Jersey. Ah. Oh. Yeah, the gooks don't see many people from New Jersey. Uh, Baptist? Yeah. Yeah. A Baptist from New Jersey, that's uh, quite an oddity around here. Got any advice? You hang tough as long as you can. Every time they don't beat you, they lose. Every time they don't break us, we win. And when they torture you, try to concentrate on the places that don't hurt. Torture? Better look good on my record. Hi, you pirates. It's late summer, and in Iowa, the corn is as high as elephant's eye. In Vermont, the trees are red and gold, and you all may be here for another ten years. But Lyndon Johnson promises to pull out American troops if President Hall will surrender the South to fascists. Hey, criminals, you don't want to die. Our relationship is now entering a new phase. You will be given the opportunity to atone, to make restitution, to show the world the righteousness of our cause. Yes, yes. If you refuse, it will be on your head. You push us too far and they'll bomb you. They're guys that'll bomb you back to the Stone Age if they got the chance. The real war is not in the Delta. It is in the United Nations. Champs-Élysées. At Berkeley, California. On the Washington Mall. The cities of America. And what we will not win on the battlefield. Your journalists will win for us on your very own doorstep. And you will help by cooperating with them and other friendly Americans. And you will do this on film. Wendell Burke, program 21. Vietnam resists. American bomber pilot, take one. And who have we here? What is this? It's a television interview for syndication. Will they see this at home? Possibly. Why? Is it that important to you? It's important, yeah. Why? It's very, very important. We gotta, we have to get the names home. People at home remember us, right? Yeah. But not with any pride. You gotta tell them, you see. There's lots of us here that they don't know about. You see? Uh, uh, yeah, according to the Vietnamese, it's uh, certainly true to say that uh, 
the number of American prisoners increases daily. Are you uh, aware that uh, Lord Bertrand Russell has convened a war tribunal? A war crimes tribunal? You and your cohorts will be the defendant. No. You gotta tell them, you see. You gotta tell the people at home, you see. They can kill an MIA, but they can't kill a confirmed POW. Uh, you gotta such tell is them. the guilt. Ah! Just, just one American, on. just one. Very lonely man being Williams educated uh, by the humane man. and lenient treatment Olden. of his captors. Ashby. Oliviera. Olden. Cut! Hit lady. But don't bring me any more like this. What's wrong with you, Major Dog? Have you no control over these men? One goes, we all go. No early release. Get out of here! She's not exactly out of range for you by the time you get out of here. <laughs> Look her up, will you? Well, I'm sure you'll be the one that introduces us, sir. No, I doubt it. You've only been here a few weeks. But listen to Hannah. Something's up. I don't know what. Miss Kennedy. I don't think I can take much more of this time. Criminals, this is a proclamation of the People's Tribunal. Here in Wallo Prison and in our other facilities throughout North Vietnam, we, the government of the People's Republic of Vietnam, have been your protectors and we have ensured your safety, but you have refused to cooperate with visitors and journalists and you have shown no contrition. So tonight we shall show the world how our people truly feel. Even now the other blackest of criminals are being assembled here in the center of Hanoi. Tonight criminals, you will be reunited so that you might confront your innocent victims and all of this will occur before representatives 
of the other friendly, peace-loving nations. amantes de paz en el mundo y por su eterna lucha por la libertad. Ah, if our only common language is English, perhaps a small saving grace of colonialism. Uh, to the peace-loving people of the world and to their eternal struggle for freedom. I cannot tell you how thrilled I am to be here. In fact, I would say this Realignment will change the progress of the war for you. Perhaps. But we have been known for our patience. There were the Japanese, the French, and now the Americans. We are not without experience. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. That's our row on the deck. As you were, gentlemen. Dong Chi, comrades. Finally, we have news in which we all can rejoice. Yes. Rumors that release would be preceded by a change in diet are indeed true. Are you saying the war is over, Major? World opinion guarantees our victory, and the press predicts it. Yes, comrades. Since the valuable footage of the parade, you are of no longer use to us. At least, not as a group. Then we must meet, you and I, to discuss the method of our release. There can be no special cases. We are all one here. So, if one goes, we all must go. It behooves you to cooperate. Particularly if you wish your letters from home.
Major Fisher will offer a homily with a scriptural basis. When I was young, at religious school, I remember a great deal was made of Abraham and Isaac. How God ordered Abraham to sacrifice Isaac, his only son, his beloved child. Abraham stood with a knife in his hand and wrestled within himself to decide whether to believe, to trust God, or to deny him. And I suppose that most of us identified with Abraham, wondering how we would use free choice if that was us. Well, since I've been in here, I've had time to think about Isaac. Helpless. Tied up on an altar. An audience to what might become his own death. And he couldn't trust in God. He had to trust in Abraham and hope that God would act through him. Well, in the end, it all worked out for Isaac and Abraham, just as it will for us. Amen. Amen. Captain Turner? Well. All my life, I've tried to seek light in the midst of darkness. And I've learned that the greater the darkness, the greater the possibility for light. I know that all people are not kind and just. But I am reminded by you all every day that the voice of God speaks to the conscious of decent people. Closing prayer from Commander Williamson. Dear Lord, we can all draw strength from the words of a 14-year-old boy who wrote them on a wall in Auschwitz. How can I believe in God when I see what is around me? I believe in God in the same way I believe in the sun, even when it doesn't shine, and in love, even when I don't feel it. Dear Lord, we offer you praise and thanks. We are grateful to be together. We are thankful that we are sound of mind. We ask you to bestow blessings upon our loved ones upon our countrymen, upon America, upon our families. There is one more formality before you may make contact with your home. As you can see, the envelopes are empty. When you cooperate, the letters will be given to you. That is the subject of my sermon. It concerns early release. We have no more patience. Those of you who are willing to cooperate, there will be freedom and a trip home. Disassociate yourself from the blackest of criminals. Merry Christmas, sir. GB, you all. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, sir. Can't go with you, Bob. Merry Christmas, Pat. God don't know you're alive, Williamson. He don't fucking care about you. Merry <clears throat> he wants to make on the cube. No go. Too dark. Steady, man. We're gonna get out of here without kissing the V's ass. Hang tough, hold him just like you showed me, remember? Hang tough. I think I used up all my tough. Q 
Cuban. Who the hell is the Cuban? I told you he's nobody, he's nothing. He's cat playing games, trying to break us. Someone to act tough so cat can go back and try pumping sunshine up our asses. Pump what? Up where? Where'd you get that, Miles? No, he got it from me. I got it from a guy I played hockey with in college. Oh, I knew it. I knew it, man. I knew you was part barbarian. Hockey? Barbaric? Never! Hockey is pure heart and grace. A great hockey player has courage and strength and endurance, just like a boxer, but he moves at 50 miles an hour like a ballet dancer. Ballet dancer? Sounds very hockey to me, Williamson. That's because you've never seen a game, Turner. So I'll take you to one, and we'll go to New York, see the Rangers. I used to see the Rangers play all the time, before my old man died. He'd take me whenever Boston came to town. We grab something to eat up near his office near 57th, you know? And grab a cab. <laughs> He'd always make us wait for a checkered cab. Never liked the little ones. I have a friend who has great seats for the Rangers. So we'll go, okay? Sounds great. I'll check my diary. So who do you think uh, a Cuban is? Desi Arnaz? Ah, gentlemen, that must be my attorney. Mm -hmm. It's working. Oh my God, it's working. Mm -hmm. We're friends. We were together on the Hancock. You new here too? No, I'm a veteran man. Oliveira, Lieutenant, Navy. How the hell did you get here? Swim? <clears throat> uh, no, sir. I went up on deck to watch him uh, shell high fall. <laughs> I fell off the ship. <laughs> I got picked up by V Fisherman. <laughs> <coughs> Look, this joint's no fun. You gotta get yourself a story. And you stick with it. You got it? Don't let them fool you. Stick with a story. We're saying no to early release. They'd only do it for propaganda. It's a lot of pressure lately, trying to break mm. up the group. I figured that's because our guys are whipping their butts. Even the food's getting better. Fresh fruit. <laughs> Might as well give it to you as let it rot on the docks. We've pasted Ifong. No shipping in or out. We gotta set this. <laughs> yeah, but things are getting better, Murph. I hope so. Because the folks back home have just about had it. Don't look for any help before the election. Well, election? That's 11 months. There's no problem, Ashby. Murph brought us our absentee ballots, right? Tropical <laughs> <laughs> heat. Too humid. You know something? Frank Sinatra himself uses this. Great artist. Wonderful artist. Hey, Latino. I wouldn't lie to you. Back home, they say you guys are criminals. But you got an excuse. You're downtrodden. You, you're a Spanish-speaking nigger. You know what I'm saying? So you take a nice early release. Your black ass is gonna be back on the streets of Harlem in a week. Go screw yourself. <laughs> Go screw myself? Hey, man, I know your neighborhood. I lived up there. 110th Street. Yeah. <laughs> So there ain't nothing you can tell me about honkies. So why is a blood like you sticking with white scum? What difference does it make to you, man? This ain't no Cuban war. Hey, this here is my internationalist duty. You understand? Wherever we can kick Yankee ass, you'll find my people. 
Gone. We're all at war with you, baby, and my internationalist duty gives me the right to go anywhere to hustle your ass. Then go try Chicago. Oh. <laughs> you stupid Puerto Rican son of a bitch. I'm offering you freedom, man. I'm already free, man. And scum ain't always white. Baby, one way or the other, you're going to do as I tell you. Just think of me as another white man. You look like you got lots of experience looking up white men's ass. Yeah, I'm telling you, you should have listened to the chink and stop all this one go, we all go bullshit. You are going to do like I tell you, huh? You're going to go home like I tell you. You're going to separate yourself from those white men like I tell you. And you're going to stop pretending a spick is an American like I tell you. You're going to show the whole world that's a lie. <laughs> Adios, Latino. Adios. I heard it. That pistol like the jungle camps. What can I do to help? <clears throat> Name's Rasmussen, sir, from Iowa. Am I happy to be here? Yes, sir. Uh, I joined the Navy five months ago, sir. I just fell off my ship. I fell off my ship. They told me I was stupid, but I mean, I can't be, because, right, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> no more seasick for me, boy. No, sir. <clears throat> By the way, sir, where, uh, where is here? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Love to strangle one of those bastards in his own long hair, you know? Hell no, you don't know! Long hair, bastards! It's not exactly what the gooks want, Gregory. It doesn't matter what they yell, no one is making them demonstrate. You don't understand. If I wasn't stuck in here, I'd probably be one of them. Tough guy. They tell me you're SRO. So I say to myself, I say, what is SRO? And then, man, like a beauty, it hits me. It means sings right out. <laughs> That's it. Hey, you gotta learn. I'm your senior ranking officer. Am I hurting you? No, oh, but it's a thought that counts, isn't it? It most certainly is, you smart-ass motherfucker. I'm gonna break you. It'll make those other assholes wise up. Yeah, you have a good day.
Father in law, thank you. Oh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Uh, my commanding officer, Clark Kent, told me to help as much as possible, sir. And so did his girlfriend, Lois Lane. <laughs> <laughs> no laughing! Yeah, no laughing. You, you were mean to me. I, I, was, I was the best boy on my ship. I was. And we had a good ship. We, the, the USS Lollipop. <laughs> Williams has been in irons for four days. It's going on the bricks tonight. Won't take an early release or break. What else? Who's next? Don't know, but the Cubans looking for somebody. In this third row is Billy Zucker. Now that home room, Miss Bogart was the teacher, and in the first row there was Robert Adams, and there was um, Mary. Laura, and next to her was uh, Frank Young. If we can just get someone, Miles, 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 to cause a commotion, we can cover the missing hole for three shifts of gongs until you leave the latrine. Then we're safe till bed check. Wait, for it's four hours. Prizals. Have you considered hey, what? You considered what you might happen once you go? Your daughter's the middle one, so she got busted in demonstration. I would think of early release. Hey, man, that's all a line of bullshit, you. man. She just talks a good line of bullshit. It's Hanoi Hannah. Don't listen to her. Lily's okay. You understand me? Lily's it's okay. Right. Enough. You told me she can take care of herself, sir. Gregory wants you're okay for escape. What do you say, SRO? Temporary SRO. That decision will be made when Williamson is better. Send this out. We're gonna beat these sons of bitches. Gregory and Souls will go over wall if all else fails. First, we try to get Rasmussen early release. Must get complete roster to him. Must memorize every name, must get complete roster to him. This guy's as crazy as Miles, he's gonna get us all killed. One go, all go. That's all. He's, he's talking about escape. The Cuban will go ape. Hey, <laughs> that rhymes, do you hear that? Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Third row there. There was um the Sally Snyder. Uh, Sally Snyder sat. Leo! Leo! Williamson alive. I don't give a fuck what you do with me. 
Oh, you don't, huh? Huh? You're right, Miles. You're right. Dying is too good. Too easy for you. <coughs> Look after your buddy here. You'll get him back on his feet. I can count on you. Send it back to the pigsty. Where you belong. Tough guy. Reports of a new guy in dog patch, sir. What do I do with the name? Keep it with you. Every time an MIA is confirmed POW, it's harder for the V to kill him. Sir, this is getting mighty tough. I mean, it's been 14 hey! months. Stop your bitching. Now let me hear that song again. Yes, sir, Captain. Major Cat, he had a farm, and Heartbreak was its name. And on this farm, he had some pigs. They all had different names. The cat guard here, a Williamson there. Old Ashby Fisher, Oldham was there too, my friends. Turner still remains. Sir, this 249 names, I mean, I'm starting to go nuts with this song. Yeah? 250. Yuiyama, Terry, Lieutenant, USAF. Yuiyama? Yuiyama. Pajama. Um, Yuiyama had some pajamas. E-I-E-I-O. What on earth are you guys doing here? We're here to try and end the war. <sighs> what can I do to help? We want you to try and set the record straight. How? Apologize. To who? To the women and children you bombed. Uh, listen, the only thing that I hit was the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Now, I know that there are a lot of innocent North Vietnamese, but they sure as hell aren't carrying weapons to the south in the middle of the night. You believe that? Then you believe in the war that cost you your freedom. Don't you know that?
Are you trying to tell us something? I'm telling you, the food stinks. And don't swallow that crap about us getting the same as them. Not true. They don't get the cabbage with the maggots in it or with the human... But who cares about food when you're being tortured? I'm telling you, guys are getting killed down here. You tell everyone. We were told that you asked for an early release of your own free will. Yes, that's uh, more or less true. More or less. Oh, sorry, there's no equivocation meant. I asked to go home. Were you tortured for this request? <laughs> no. What are your views on the war? I hate it. I hate war. All war. Captain, do you think our country should be in this war? No. No, I don't. No, I don't. It's all right. You're famous now, are you? I don't think that that's important. <laughs> Why do you think these bastards let you in here? They ain't movie fans, I can tell you that. Fact is, they just wanted a way to get the press all hot and bothered. They're using you. I think we can handle the politics of the situation. I think we know what we're doing. Are you hungry, Captain? Like you couldn't believe it. I suppose you're no stranger to hunger. Not after three years in this joint. How do you feel about the Democratic Republic? Democratic Republic. Oh, <laughs> you mean the gooks. <laughs> uh, you're, you're safe with us, Eric. There's no need to use that word. It's, you it's... call me Captain Lady. I worked hard for that rank. And I use the word gook because I can't think of anything worse I'd use in front of you. Just trying to help you, Eric. Why don't you shove it? I don't need help. Never from you. You don't even know when you're being used. So I'm sorry, boss, but you got the wrong nigga. This has been an amazing two days. Obviously, you're doing everything you can. Although some of the men did complain about the food. I can sympathize, but none of us like to eat what we're forced to. However, it is war. N'est-ce pas? Je comprends. Je comprends tout. I presume only a few of the men complained about the food. Oh, only Ashby, really. But he can't help it. He's a product of his environment. He's used to having his own way. I don't think this is his idea of a country club. Yes, yes, yes. And as a sign of our enduring friendship for the American people, I will parole three prisoners to you. That is wonderful. Oh, thank you, merci. Yes. Yeah. Oh, for me, down. <laughs> Say goodbye to Vice One amongst you. Come on, don't you? 
And you two ought to be congratulated. I'm sure Major Dot will miss you. No doubt. But we shall do our best. You know, I would have ended up like all of them. Is that what you want? Huh? Oh. I'm supposed to die here? Is that it? Is that right? Was I supposed to die? Huh? Am I supposed to die? For what? For what? Murphy was moved. You pretend to be senior ranking officer, huh? Major, please, be reasonable. They're just kids. They didn't have a chance. You got them. Hey! We stood out in the crowd. <laughs> oh. There's nothing to be accomplished by doing anything Look. rash. Major. It was my it's, fault! There's oh, nothing oh, to be gained by oh, doing any of this. It's, it's my not fault! The... Oh, it was my idea! Oh, oh, so you're the leader. Oh, the use holds was self-controlled. Oh, oh, He's a follower. Oh, He's of no use to us. Oh, so what do you know? Oh, 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 You kill him! You sick! I will take you from your cell personally to your execution. You will not see me after tomorrow. Important message to wife and family. I'm sorry I did this to you. I love you as life itself. But we'll have to do it again if necessary. Saul's last words were, we stood out in the crowd. That is the apology of a man who wants only to be ordinary. But none of the men here, and especially not Saul's, are ordinary. They are the bravest of the brave. People who go on, even when deserted by friends and countrymen. What they carry inside of them is something very extraordinary. It is a spirit 
that makes all human beings unique. It makes them heroic. I do not believe my death will help win the war. It seems that people at home no longer care anyway. I die not so much for love of country as for love of countrymen. God bless you all. To me, you all stand out in the crowd. For the time being, your fate is being decided by other events. Yes, Fisher. Circumstances and things have changed matters. Your execution is to be delayed. I tell you this personally, because I do not wish for you to think that I have relented on my anger with you. In time you will be informed. Isaacs. The guys were gone, but they made the point. And with old President Ho dead, they're gonna ease up on us. They're putting us all together here in Hanoi. Nice and safe as bargaining chips for Paris. Paris? Hey, what's up, Doc? Do not assume your good fortune, Miles. Show me respect, or you will deeply regret your folly. Don't you do that! We just want to know what's going on. Simply, we are showing our humane and lenient treatment. You will all be put in one cell. You will be forbidden to do anything until ordered. And you? I am being reassigned. Your failure to take early release was considered a significant propaganda defeat. And you, Commander, you did what you had to do to survive, eh? No. We won. One goes, we all go, remember? Tell him to fuck himself, Pat. Attend, hut! Ray, feet! Power, clock! Two, one, two, one! Change like maybe we'll get mail or Red Cross. Hope so. Yeah. yeah. Cigarette? Oh. No. You know I think I quit. <laughs> <laughs> You son of a bitch! Don't tell me Huffman's doing okay! You look at you, gonna fight this war forever? You gonna war with your goddamn zip code! You're damn right I would! What's a zip code? 
Okay, look. I apologize. I'm sorry. I know it's been hard on you, old man. Old man? Watch who you say that to. I haven't seen a mirror for nine years. I'm not an old man. Do I look like an old man to you? No. Do I look like an old man? Huh? I don't know. Do my teeth as bad as yours are? Are my teeth bad? He's an old man. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you Barry Ashby? Yeah. I'm Charlie Cummings. I went to Greenwich High School. You're a hero there. An alum. Hey, come over here. Come over here. Pretty crummy high school if Ashby's a hero. <laughs> of course, some students call you fascists. Is that true? The hippies. Not just the hippies. Most people, I guess. Most people? Yeah. By now, people are tired of a war you're not trying to win. Especially when things at home are so good, you know? No, I don't know. Explain. Are they going to put us on trial like the VC, so? Nah, I doubt it. People are kind of into themselves now, you know? Self-awareness, sensitivity training, consciousness raising, you know? What the fuck are you talking about? Well, you'll have to see it. Maybe to live through it to understand it. <laughs> hey, Cummins, come on. We need a fourth for hearts. It's a real honor to meet you, sir. It's a real honor. I gotta apologize for my hockey team. They don't play the national anthem. They sing God Bless America. Why do you think they do that? Because it's hockey. All this time, what finds its way here? A pastor known as for my Playboy subscription. My luck. My little league team goes to the state finals without me. Damn. My little sister got into Harvard. <laughs> Damn, son of a bitch. Fucking perfect! She waits till now! From his daughter, his wife divorced him. Hey, move up! You heard the man! Not your problem! Those guys are my ticket to law school. And your age? Yeah. What if they bomb us? No sweat. We've improved bomb sites since they got you, Major. They don't come near this place. You never heard of a wild shot? No way. As a matter of fact, I'll bet you the Vietnamese are sleeping in our courtyard. What do you think? I don't know. If you're really going home, then plane should have been here by now. I'm home in time for opening day at Dodger Stadium. Just wait until you see the pilot, Lieutenant. If he's an American, I'll buy you a ticket to the World Series. You guys are paranoid. They wouldn't go through all this for nothing. Wouldn't be the first time, pal.
team. Hup! Lieutenant Commander Patrick Williamson reporting return to the United States, sir. Where in the world have you guys been? We've been here all along. Where the hell have you been? Special. 